What's going on Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV and in today's video a couple of people had requested a hand cam tutorial for MLB The Show 21 in regards to hitting and I'm also going to give you one in regards to pitching. So what I did is I basically recorded some video and I'm also going to talk a little bit about why this is so helpful. So let's go ahead and jump into practice mode here and I am up at the plate with Griffey versus Brady Singer. You can see as I move the PCI around, the PCI is actually very, very sensitive. I said in my hitting tips video as well, if it was on a scale of one to 10, the PCI sensitivity is at about, I would say about an eight out of 10. So how do you mitigate that sensitivity, make it feel a little bit less sensitive, give you a little bit more control over it? Well, it has to do with your thumb placement on the left stick. And that's the first piece of video that we're going to get into today. So you can see, I pretty much take my thumb placement. If you just are like casually playing, I'd kind of put your left thumb. However, you know, if you're just grinding or you're trying to get some things done, you know, you're not trying to play super serious. I, I will even myself just put my left thumb in a relaxed position. But if I was getting super serious or if I'm in a slump and I want to mitigate the amount of distance I'm gonna move around, see how much smaller I'm moving the PCI, PCI around now? Just like those smaller movements that you really want when you're playing MLB The Show. It has to do with my thumb placement. So if I really feel my thumb moving, like it's gonna move outside the zone, this is gonna help you just stay right on the ball. And let's get into the video. So I'm taking a look at the video now. That's kind of the relaxed grinding position that I have when I'm just chilling. But if I want to go super serious mode, I move my thumb up almost into the bend of my thumb. There's like a natural bend in your thumb. And if I move my thumb up like that, that I'm able to get more control on the stick. I'm not going to have as crazy of movements. It's really going to mitigate the sensitivity of the left stick. And already since I've done that, and I get lazy from time to time, but already since I've done that, I feel like I've been able to hit better even in this video itself. See if we can hit one more strong hit here for the road. Nice to the gap. It's all about aiming that PCI as well. You want to get the dots on the baseball and you want to have you know, some more control over doing that, this tip can help you out. Now, I also have some tips for when you are pitching. Now, if you can't get down pinpoint control, I'm having some trouble with pinpoint control. And one of the main reasons too, is I'm so comfortable with analog pitching. And once you see this hand cam tutorial as well, you're really, really gonna hit your spots. I have people that come in my stream all the time. They're like, why aren't you using pinpoint pitching? I've tried it out, I practice it, I'm not that good with it, I feel kind of slow with it. It's fantastic if you get it down, but if you can't, and you want some tips on analog, how to hit the line, hit the hoop every single time, use my hand cam tutorial here. So let's say I have a pitch right down the middle. I'm gonna grip the right stick in the middle, so I it forces me to push straight down and push straight up. A slider over here is the same thing, so we wanna go grip the middle of the right stick, go straight down, Go straight back up, try to hit our spot the best that we can. Now, if we have a fastball up and in, you can see the hoop moves over there. We're gonna grip the right stick over on the right part of our thumb. So that forces us to push right, down right, and back up to the left. Fastball over here, we're gonna grip on the left side of the right stick, and we're, it's gonna force us to pull down to the left and push up to the right. It's gonna help us mitigate pushing up or pushing to the left. It's almost gonna be impossible with just how we're gripping it. It's gonna keep it where we want to keep it. Okay, so now I'm taking a look at the video here as well. You can see right in the middle, straight down, straight up. Let's say we have to go over to, what should I go for first? Down right, down left. See how I grip it on that side? Down left, up right. That's how you're gonna wanna do that. It's just gonna force you to get into that pattern of going straight up, straight down, or straight down right, straight up left, straight down left, straight up right. Really should help you out. You also can see on my controller as well, I do use control freaks. I like the low rise Omni ones the best. Those are my favorite ones to use. Well, I hope this video helped you out in regards to your hitting and pitching. I do have hitting tips and pitching tips on my channel as well. I'm just covering a bunch of tutorials and we also have gameplays on the channel as well. You can always check me out on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash movie gaming TV. 
Hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching.